Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm really pleased you've hopped over and joined me. I do hope that you'll stick around and subscribe and have some fun. So, today, I thought I had finished with the bees for now. I love the bee kits. I've been using mine, I've been using Amy's and I love them. But I thought I'd finish with them for now because I was starting something completely different. But that scarf kept calling me in my sleep and everything. So, it's now, well part of it, it's now a cover. I have got more left to do more, which excites me. Um, but yeah, for now, this is what I've done. And oh, it feels so gorgeous because it's real like pure silk. Um, yeah, because it was a Burberry scarf. <laughs> and it was like pristine condition there's nothing wrong with it at all really beautiful but I'd, it just screamed out bee journal to me with the black white and yellow you know so I had a nice little brooch that I thought looks nice on the top this is going to be the closure I've just tied it up like that because I'm working on this journal but it's all sewn in so it won't be going nowhere and I thought no matter how fat the journal gets it wrap around a couple of times and I will trim it down a bit because <laughs> it's um, about a yard and a half long but I thought for now I'll just like roll it up I've left it very long because I don't know how fat or thin she's going to end up but um, yeah I had to just see what it looked like so yesterday I just went for it I, I cut it up and yeah sat there so this is the cover there's two signatures and that's what we're going to be working on today stuff for the inside I made a nice big pocket here and well like a tuck spot really um, and there's one on the other side and so yeah that sits like that and like that and I haven't done anything else to it. I might put, add more on the outside. I'm not sure. But I'm really happy with what I've got so far. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to be working on bits and bobs for the inside. Because there's nothing much. I've done a little bit of sewing here and there. Um, what have I done? Oh yeah, oh that was just me um, dobber. Um, bits like that. Uh, I think I've done that somewhere else as well. I've done a few. Yeah, that's all I've done really. Just a couple of these are belly bands. Um, that one and that one. So yeah, there's a lot of work to do. But it's all good fun. And I really do love the cover. And I've like, it's like sort of, not quilted. It's like, it's, it's, there's a little bit of like wadding in between the different like silks because this is a different silk um and yeah it's you can tell the difference this is 100 percent silk this is like a kind of I, I think it's like a polyester fake silk and the difference is amazing this just feels gorgeous i'll stop running my grubby hands over it then <laughs> not that it'll come off it's stained on dyes so today I wanna make a kind of foldy out thing. I don't know what to call it because I'm not sure how it's really gonna end up. But I do wanna make some kind of foldy out bit, not too bulky, but um yeah, just a nice thing. Um maybe put a notepad on it or something maybe that's removable i'm not too sure but at the minute i've got these lovely folder things that was sent to me by my lovely friend dawn hello lovely if you're watching and um yeah this honey color on the inside just screams to me and i really love like the dark like sort of what would you call it like a moss color green um but yeah Oh, hang on, I'm going to have to bring the slider back down because I can't get it in if I'm trying to go from the other direction. So, all I'm doing, as you can see, other than sort of making loads of noise, is 
I just want to cut them bits off so that I don't dig them in myself and that and um, right, just get it lined up straight which feels a bit weird when I'm getting it straight one end it don't seem to be straight the other end oh right okay so poor that was a mission wasn't it <laughs> right so what I've done is I've got a template like I normally do so that when I'm working on with different sizes and that I know the exact size of my page and I was thinking maybe something with the same kind of close bit as like the same kind of closure as on the front and um, like following these score lines that are already there and yeah maybe with like a notepad or something that can yeah be removed or maybe not be removed um yeah let's think or something that sort of opens out like that and like that so if it was on the page and opens out like that then the other way would be like that wouldn't it so i'd have one two but not with them score lines because that is way too big for me page so i need to cut and then make a new score line so maybe i'll turn it up the other way where i haven't put a big crease into it and let's see i think we'll stick with the middle line and right where's my pencil so yeah we'll stick with that heavy crease there of the middle line and then i'll be chopping off i don't want it to go right to the very edge so i'll be chopping off on that second line not the first line and this is the one that will come out right yeah so i might come in because that's my page yeah there's no way i want it as big as that but if let me look here so that's my second line and that's where i'll mark to fold and that comes the other way Mm. right so now i've cut them off i really do they they just appeal to me and i don't know what i would do with them maybe i need to try and get the metals out and then i could use them like decorating a page or something like that but yeah they just sort of sing to me and i don't know why but um for what i'm doing at the minute they're not what we want so i've got my page template and i've got this big folder now i'm thinking maybe i want something opens like that and then the other way so this is way too big at the minute the height is probably all right i might i think if we went into that line there so it will be the exact same on the other side and because instead of using it this way i'm going to be making me folds myself so that i can do it all from this one file folder and i can still have some left for tags and whatnot i still have got a couple of the of them intact like this one was a minute ago um but yeah it's nice to sort of use up every little bit of something when you love it and i do love these colors so that's that one and oh right a crease there i can get rid of that oh and i've made a little mark there because i was gonna do something going the other way and then i thought better of it right so we've got our page template and we've got our things 
I now? Yeah, maybe I've been it. So on the page, it'll open that way and then that way, or the other way around. <laughs> but yeah, so one of them will need a hinge to attach it. Well, it'll be part of this other bit. Right. So I want to score about there. And then we'll see what we've got to cut off. And so if our, if we're doing the exact same, or maybe a little bit smaller, won't it? So, I'll come just in a bit for the score on this one. And then I'll mark again for the bit that we've got to cut and stick on to this bit. So it's all one piece. So... I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm having a little experiment. So I don't know how much I'll get done today. Um, yeah, it might be a two-part because, yeah, like I said, don't know what I'm doing at the minute, but we're doing it anyway. Right, I'm just on the one. It's the wrong way, but I haven't got a long scoreboard. I've only got a short one. And it might not be the wrong way because I'm not sure whether I want the honey colour on the outside or the green. So this one. I'm scoring there. I will, I'll go the next one along because it was in between two. And yeah, I'm imagining that this probably will end up in a couple of parts because it's quite late. Um, I've had a busy few days, so not that you'd know because I haven't um, been on, but um, yeah, busy few days like with family and that. So right, that's where I'm going to be cutting now. So yeah, I um. I'm quite tired, but I did want to get something done. Otherwise, I feel like if I don't get something done tonight, for when you were watching, like I put it up, it'll be up tomorrow morning. Um, and yeah, if I don't get something done now, I, and I haven't got nothing up in the morning, I'll feel like I'm on the back foot, if you know what I mean. Um, right. So, one bit will sit on the page, and it be like, oh, there's just, are those different notes? Yeah, I must have gone one ridge further on the other one. Look, I've just got to cut the next line. Um, so we'll do that, and then I'm going to try and work out what it is. <laughs> what it is that I'm doing because yeah it's difficult to explain when I'm not 100% sure myself but you know a flicky flappy kind of thing I've done them before um, but yeah each time is different isn't it because you're using different pages with different pieces of stuff so yeah we're just going to work out all our little folds right so I'm thinking face put that there and then I've got that nice dark green against the honey and then this closing like this so then let me just scoop down a little touch so I need to come in because I don't want it going right up and making bulk near the spine so I'm thinking, mm, I'll go there because I want to take a little tiny touch off of this as well. So we'll do that and I'm going to use my gadget, my new one. Right, let's pick a line. Uh, uh, 
Um, I should go with that one. So yeah, I'm taking a bit off of this. I don't want to take a shed load off. So just a little tad. I just hope it does go how I want it. Right, let me get it straight. Right. And I have to remember to you have to press hard. Right, oh, I went up, didn't I? I've got to take a little bit more off now. I'm still getting used to it. I do like it, but yeah, I'm still getting used to it a bit. Mm, not enough. Mm, come on. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to miss a little bit. I need just a tiny sliver. Oh dear, right. Let's see. Right, I've opened it up. I'm coming in from the other side. And um, yeah, I'm ending up taking off a bit more off than I wanted. But... I think that has sorted me out a bit. We'll see. Yep, I like that. It's just as well, isn't it? Um, right, so that's us there. Why does this seem like it's too long now? No, that ends fine. It must be on the wonk, but I'm cutting that off anyway. So... I'm coming off here. Mm. Oh, I think I'm going to turn it around the other way. So that, that wonky bit, that's not what I'm butting up to the edge. Yep, I'm happy with that. So... This is what we've got. That. And then it'll open up that way. So, we can start putting it together. Right, so I'm just going to ink um, around a bit of it. And, um, yeah, we'll just get it. I'm going to go in a bit darker here and there. Um, but yeah, for the minute, I'll just go around with the vintage photo. But yeah, and on you all. Hope everybody is well. Oh, it's been so hot here. It really has. I've been finding it exhausting. And I've been really busy. So, um, oops. I'm knocking a little bits and bobs over. Yeah, I've been really busy, which don't help when you're really hot, does it? <laughs> And yeah, the weather's been really hot. I'm menopausal anyway. I'm at that age. And yeah, it's not fun. Because um, yeah, the only symptom I have is the getting really hot. Waking up hot in the night. It's been going on for a few years now. Um, and yeah, just even in the winter, just breaking out into like a really like hot clammy feeling which I've never been like that I've never really sweated I've, I'm not I don't know I just weren't made that way never have really got all lot and bothered um, and then yeah last couple of years oh dear it's ridiculous but I, they gave me some tablets that sorted it out and then couldn't get them for ages. There was problems um, with them being imported. As soon as, as soon as we came out of the EU, that's when I couldn't have the tablets anymore. Um, and they've only just been able to get them again. But I think they're slightly different because, if anything, they're making me worse. <laughs> and, and it's tough to judge in the middle of summer though, isn't it? You know, because it might just 
because I'm up. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. But yeah, they don't seem to be working. But yeah, that's been me and I've been like busy helping family and that. Jamie and my daughter, I'm the oldest one, Rose. Um, helping them with their new like ventures. Jamie um, has been off work since February now due to this COVID business. So he's been trying to get off the ground with online business. And yeah, I've been helping him do it over the last few weeks. He now, I, I, he didn't know the first thing about Etsy and that. He's got two shops now. Because <laughs> he's got, got one where he's selling junk journal supplies and things that, like that. And the other one that's selling original artwork. And yeah, the last week or two weeks, I've been his market researcher, getting in touch with all these different companies because he doesn't just want to sell them as digital downloads. He's got some really good original pieces um, that him and one of my well yeah one of my best mates is like brother he um it's their art and um he wants to do posters and t-shirts and stuff like that but they also want embroidery on the t-shirts with their initials joined into one as their logo and all of this so yeah i've been like market researcher and not gonna lie way over my depth I really am <laughs> really am way out of my depth with this because um, I've never done anything like that I do this and I've got an Etsy shop where I sell this <laughs> this stuff you know this is me I have done other art things and that all my life really but um, I've never had my own business other than my little shop that I've got now and um, I don't know the first thing about it. And you get in touch with companies and they email you back saying things that I don't know what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not the greatest, but I've been helping him to do that. And also my daughter, oh, I didn't want to do that, but it don't matter. Parts of it are going to be covered up anyway. But yeah, um, my daughter, she's set up um, Etsy shop as well with her um, photography and so um, yeah she's just getting started and yeah her art is all like her photography but it really is lovely so yeah she's just getting started as well so I've been a busy bunny with the family and that just helping people just get themselves going you know just and like I said I'm not, I don't really know much about it, I'm out of my depth, but oh, that's not the way, because I wanted it to show up like that. Now, so yeah, you just do what you can, don't you? Just doing a little bit of ringing rounds and emailing and things, different companies, finding out prices and all of that, which I've never had to do before, but um yeah i've um i ain't done too bad i've found in some decent companies now that we've got samples being made as we speak so that's quite exciting for him and yeah it's all been quite hectic but fun right i want to do a little bit darker here than there on that wavy line like i have on the other one just with the walnut stain right and I haven't done the crease here I don't know where where that crease is to be honest but I haven't inked it <laughs> I think it's just the base but we'll get it done and right hmm and again a little bit here and there just make it a little bit old so oh, I've done that's the second time I've done that flopped it down the wrong way up right so I'm 
so yeah that's our base in it and we like that and then that be like that so I want something nice on the front now I was going to use this I really like it it's from Dioro but um, I cut this out when I was going to use it for something else um, I would have liked to have torn it but I'm too close to that S unless I go and print another one um, or this is from Dioro as well I could use this and add that flower up there or going that way the stripes going that way might be nice um, yeah let's give it a whirl right I want to come in a bit and over here we'll go to that line there and I want to keep it quite close there and maybe about there we'll see if I want to be a little bit um, smaller I'll go smaller all that oh I am torn because I really do like this for that yeah it don't have to have a torn edge because to be honest I can't be bothered to go upstairs I've got to put on my laptop put on my um, printer wait for it to all start up it's too long so yeah I'm not doing that because if I go upstairs and see my bed <laughs> I'm likely to fall in it <laughs> and not come down and finish this video which won't be very productive so yeah I'm just going to round the corners I don't realise I've done that one right and we'll have that like that I do like it um, mm, right we're going to have like a pocket or a notepad or something and then when it opens up that way no we'll have the notepad under there we'll have a pocket or something or two in there but here I'll be inking while I'm thinking oh I'm a poet and I didn't know it <laughs> Oh, the old ones are still the old ones, and they love. But yeah, I'm just thinking maybe of putting a bit of ribbon underneath. Might look nice. Or a bit of lace. Might look nice with that doily there. Oh, a bit of doily. A bit of doily might be nice. Right. we'll grab a um a doily and um a bit of lace as well and maybe a bit of ribbon we'll see what these things look like when we hold them up and see how they go but yeah i do i love this i've used it so many times i've used it on the cover of um what's it called or oh, notebooks because there's this page and there's one which is the same and I think it's got peach and it's just so gorgeous I might end up printing it out and using it later on right so I grabbed myself exactly what I said I've got some ribbon some sorry silk lace um, and I've got a couple of doilies now I'm thinking Oh, I could even, because that's going to be opening up that way, I could even have that on both sides. Um, and then what I wanted was a bit of this white one down the bottom, under where that will be. Um, I did have loads of that, that exact shape and pattern, but... I don't know what I've done with them. And I keep all of everything together. Doilies are with doilies. So I don't know what's happened there. So, and sorry about that. I just had to move back and put my chair 
in the position. I was sitting down, <laughs> reaching up. Olivia's been sitting on my chair. She loves it. But, um, yeah, it ends up not where it's supposed to be. So, I was all small. Right. Yeah, I'm liking that kind of idea. And it'll be round there as well. I think I'm going to have to grab my poker tool and put some of these bits through. Which, um... I'm not going to do every single one. Um, yeah, there ain't time in your life is there to be doing all that. Poking through every single one. But it is a lovely, lovely um, doily that I do want to use. But yeah, some of the bits ain't through. And they're not coming off. But if I just get them um, where they're not on this side, it don't matter underneath. Really? Yeah. And just don't want to tear it. And I'm gonna go around I feel I'm gonna bring it quite low. Um like that and then just chop that top bit off there. Yeah, I like that. I'm I'm having that. Right. So Grab my glue stick and I've got a little scrap of paper just here so I don't get all stuck up to the eyeballs. I was just doing, um, what do you call it, what's that thing? Um, oh yeah, dyeing some flowers with alcohol inks. I couldn't think for the life of me what. <laughs> what it was that I had been doing. I knew I'd been doing something. Right, come down there. Right, I didn't need. Oh, hang on. Yeah, a little bit further out. And that is that side. And yeah, I didn't need that bit of paper. I don't know why I thought I did. Uh, and we'll just come in up there, a little bit further, ta-da, went a little bit too far on that side, but it'll be fine once it's dry, so we can cut off that top bit, I'm sad that I've pushed it together, Oh, could I separate it? Because I could. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Because I could use that bit somewhere else. But I am going to have to... It, I'm making it too much hard work if I try and cut it in and then out. But now I did manage to save it. So that's... Have I gone the wrong way up there? Um, oh, I think I've stuck it on the wrong bit. I totally did stick that on the wrong bit. So I am peeling it off like a nutcase because you won't really see a lot of that anyway because it is going to be covered up. And probably with another doily, but I really want this one <laughs> for on this corner. So just... I need to try and quick as I can get this stuck on here where I originally wanted it. What a nutcase. Oh, sometimes oh, if I had a brain I'd be dangerous. And family members ask me to help them with stuff. What? They haven't got very high expectations, have they really, when you think about it? Because... That was just such a silly error, and I am making things worse. Right, just trying to get rid of the stickiness because there will be something there, so you're not really going to see that. Um, well, there's got to be something there now, isn't there? After that fiasco, because yeah, that is the corner that I want that on. So, yeah, this there'll be stuff there anyway. And there's definitely got to be something there. A bit of ribbon maybe going down. Because I did get out some bits like that. 
can't believe I just did that. Because this is going to sit like that, right? I want a quick ink. I really can't believe I just did that. Uh, my excuse is that I'm tired. But really, I just wasn't concentrating properly, was I? That is the bottom line. Right, so that is going to be there. And this one... I'm not having going around to the other side. I'm just having it pretend looking like it should have carried on. So, I'm not sure. Right, that's the angle that I need. Okay, right. Let's try and do this without making a fiasco of it. Right. So that was the angle that I needed, wasn't it? When we put that back there. Yeah, right. <gasps> At least I've done something, right? But I could have cut it out and grabbed another one of these and just done it on that. And no one would have known. But then, if you don't see people messing up, when you mess up yourself, <laughs> you feel like you're the only person in the world that does it. But you ain't. You ain't. If you're messing up at home, you can bet anything that I'm messing. <laughs> I'm messing up where I am, right with you. So that is going to be like that. Yeah. And right. Get some glue there. And at the end of the day, if it's too badly messed up, I'm not going to do much more decoration on this tonight because I'm thinking I should let it dry and if this bit looks, see I've rubbed colour off and that off of there, but you can cover it up, I'm sure we can. But yeah, if it was too terrible, I'll just start again. But um, at the minute, I'm thinking that we probably can salvage the situation. I've got these tiny bits of, what's it called? Doily stuck there. But yeah, that's the worst bit because I rubbed it with the wet wipe and took some of the colour off but right, this is where that's going to be right so this bit there is easily covered up once that's dry that glue i don't think you're going to notice it that is our bad spot which in here i'm thinking a nice big bit of maybe the lace that i brought in Oh yeah, look at that. Just covers it straight away. No one knows that. Well, apart from you, don't tell no one. <laughs> Keep it a little secret for me. And no one will ever know that I made that great big mess. So, I'm going to stick it on right now so that I haven't got to wake up and see this terrible fiasco. Because, yeah, there's nothing worse than having a little plan in your head for something really good, working on it, messing up, and thinking, oh, I'll come back to it in the morning. Come back in the morning, you think, it's still as rubbish as it was last night. <laughs> but if I add that dodgy bit, I think I'll get away with it. Mm -hmm. Nearly, I've nearly done something else. Did you spot it? I was holding the lace upside down and I was just hovered over that glue, which was lucky to double check because that would, I would have had to have called it a night there and then if, um, if I'd glued that lace on upside down, it just would have depressed me. And no one wants to be like that, do they? I like my 
work to be fun, you know. I create things for fun, first and foremost, not to sell or to just, I don't know, be doing it for other reasons that I can't think of. Um, no, it's got to be fun for me. That's why I started doing this in the first place. And it's why I try and do it as much as I possibly can. Because I have fun talking to you guys. I have fun. I know you're thinking, what's she pulling that about for? I just want to straighten it up. And there's not enough glue at the top here. So we just pop that there. Right. And that will dry nicely for the morning. Just needs another little trim to get it nice and flush. That's it. And let's look at the bottom. Right, so I've got that bit of thing. This is the front, which I like best. So. This is just going to be our middle, obviously, and then we'll flip that way. I'll probably have a pocket there, and that's where our notepad is going to be, on here. Um, and just inside here is where I'm going to have a couple of pockets in here. So, I'm wondering what that might look like peeking out there like that like once that's flush how we're going to glue it and as you've noticed I've not I'm not gluing it together yet because I don't want to make it more difficult for myself I want to get it done and then glue it together so I think that might be nice poking out like that could come up a bit so we've got the wider bit or I've just thought could use a bit of this because it's wider and it will cover that mark so yeah that is a plan I'm just going to eat this I don't want it white on the inside the different bit on the outside was that I was lining it up with Amy's that looks quite white but I am going to dirty it up a little bit Yeah, that's better. So I'm going to do the same with this. And where did I want it? I wanted it here, didn't I? Because, yeah, that's going to sit there and we're going to open it like that. Oh no, here. See, I'm doing it again. What alone? Right, I want it there. Yeah, that'd be perfect. And it's giving the thing now a bit of continuity. So, yeah, no mistakes. Just new possibilities. And, yeah, like I said, it's giving a bit of continuity that I wouldn't have had by just putting these in the bits about right and there Make a nice bit of ink on that edge and on there right oh I need a bit of glue under this edge right there you go so base for the notepads that's going to be peeking out there, like that, like it peeking out. We've got our bits peeking out there and our bit there. So on this base, even though it's going to have a notepad, I might just have a little bit there and at the other, at the bottom as well. So, I'm going to ink this first. And right, yeah, we'll cut that bit and that can be poking somewhere. Oh, I've got a little bit there. 
I don't need loads because we're going to have a notepad here so you're not going to see much of it no. and so right that is that bit and I'll keep going back and checking like looking at it but I'm just trying to get an idea of what it's going to look like or where I might want other little bits oh that sitting there yeah that's a one or do I want that sitting there do I Hmm. We'll have this bit down in just coming there. I've gone up too high, but no dramas. That's just gonna sit there. Right, oops. Eat that. I think this final piece, um, I'm going to have up here. I don't need to have all of these really, but I just fancy it. Oh, I might have to go here because that's got the um, edge. I could always cut that, but then I've got to try and line it up. And yeah, I, I don't fancy that. <laughs> so, I'm just going to have that bit peek in there. So let me just try and cut in a straight line so I've got a right angle. That will sit like that. Yep, happy with that. I can push that bit a little bit further up and just trim it off once I've got the doily stuck down. Right, and just, oh, come on, that's it, right, just get that little stray bit there, mm. right, yep, yeah. That is those bits. That's our base pocket side, front notepad side, maybe a pocket in the middle of there. So I think for now we'll just do this in short parts. I'll probably do it like a bit each day and um or the next part might be longer it's the only reason i'm saying short parts is because i'm really tired <laughs> yeah um surely you all know what i'm like i'm like a toddler i get tired and i've just got to lay down otherwise i'll start getting cranky mm. oh i'm just thinking maybe i want that going across the bottom there like that or maybe there. No, I'm not going to make any decisions now. Oh. And yeah, I think I'm gonna go to bed. And we've got done our basic shape. So if you're going to do one, measure your page and then this is my page so I know that this will fit on and I can go right up to the outer edge so that I don't go right up to the spine and then our page opens like that and like that so yeah we've got our bases done which is cool we saved ourselves from the um 
what's it called? Um, disaster of the year, I think, so far. <laughs> that was, I know it only, it's, it's like, oh, you stuck a doily on the wrong place. But it was like, <gasps> heart stopped beating. What shall I do? Shall I stop filming and pretend this never happened? <laughs> Which would have been easy, wouldn't it? But no, you know me. I'm here warts and all, and I. So, yeah, we'll leave it there for tonight. And next time's one, part two, we'll do the pockets and probably even the notepad. Or what I might do is just gather some different bits of coffee dyed paper, um, and just um, maybe a couple of other bits. Um, and just staple them together and then run a bead of glue along the top and we'll put a bit of trim to cover that and yeah I think I'll, that's what I'll probably do so get bits like obviously a bit smaller um, and yeah so I'll probably have that bit already done by our next video so that we can just stick it in because it's just going to be stapled together. I'm not sewing it together or nothing. It's just a notepad. And yeah, we'll just make the pockets. And yes, yeah, see how far we get done. We might even have it finished by next time. Because I think the stressiest bit is working out what goes where and that. And as you know, I don't really do measurements. I just work with page templates. Then I always know each journal I make, I'll just cut out a bit of paper and have it on my desk so that I can eyeball things as I go along. And it does work out pretty well, you know. So, yes, I find that a lot easier than measuring <laughs> and having to go back and check your measurements and all things like that. I find that a bit stressful. I'm the same with cooking, I don't really follow recipes, make it all up as I go along. Sometimes it's nice, sometimes we end up having something from the chip shop. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you now because I've got to go and get in bed. And I'll see you probably tomorrow. Love you loads. Bye for now. Bye.